Hello, this is a brief video on the GMFCS, for children with cerebral palsy. The GMFCS looks at movements such as sitting and walking. It is helpful because it provides families and clinicians with a clear description of a child's current motor function, and an idea of what equipment or mobility aids a child may need in the future, for example crutches, walking frames or wheelchairs. There are five levels, with five being the most impaired. At level 5 the individual has physical impairments that restrict voluntary control of movement and the ability to maintain head and neck position against gravity. The individual is impaired in all areas of motor function. They cannot sit or stand independently, even with adaptive equipment. He or she cannot independently walk, though may be able to use powered mobility. At level 4, walking ability is severely limited even with assistive devices. Individuals at this level use a wheelchair most of the time and may propel their own power wheelchair. Patients may participate in standing transfers. Level 3 The individual walks with assistive mobility devices indoors and outdoors on level surfaces. He or she may be able to climb stairs using a railing. The individual may propel a manual wheelchair but may require our assistance for long distances or uneven surfaces. Level 2. The individual has the ability to walk indoors and outdoors. He or she may climb stairs with a railing and will have difficulty with uneven surfaces, inclines or in crowds. The individual has only minimal ability to run or jump. And, finally, level 1. At this level, the individual can walk indoors and outdoors. He or she can climb stairs without using hands for support and can perform usual activities such as running and jumping but has decreased speed, balance and coordination. This has been a presentation brought to you by the UMLDPT class of 2017. Best of luck to everyone preparing for their final examinations.